Hi, this is just a quick demo of the network manager utility running on .NET Core. I decided to port this because I thought it was an interesting open source app that used um, a variety of WPF features without having a lot of other .NET dependencies that would have made things complicated. It used some third-party controls, the Ma apps, Metro, um, sort of styling, which was it's good to test, test out controls. EX is another one. So I thought it would be useful to try and get this running on court. Um, turned out it was super simple. Had to include the Windows compatibility pack, of course. Had to change some pre-post build events to instead just be targets. Uh, there were a couple of small bugs I ran into. Um, but I filed those and I was able to work around them. And I, I think fixes are already available. So generally, the process was pretty smooth. Uh, w one of the things that actually took the most time was specifying links for some of these uh, resources and content files. And the reason I needed to do that was because when I ported this, I decided to do it alongside the .NET Framework project instead of just ch changing the original CS proj. So the original CS proj uh, in here is, is unchanged. But I created a new folder, networkmanager.core, where I dropped the CS proj. None of the source or any of the assets are in here. It just refers to them over next to the original network manager CS proj. Um, the challenge with that was that the, because of that, that model of referring to things elsewhere, things like these resource XAML files, when the app looks for them, it expects them under the path resource styles and so on. And the resources were not embedded with that path because of the way that they're included here. So I had to actually link with the correct path for them to be found. Similar story for content items that needed to be dropped into the bin folder. They weren't dropped in the right subdirectories without a link. So I mean, it was 20 minutes of hassle, um, which would have been nice to avoid. But I mean, if I would have done this in the directory instead of alongside it, it would have worked, I assume. And so. Not a big deal. Uh, there was also uh, a few lines of code that made use of the async result type, which does not exist in .NET Core. So I had to make some small um, code changes to not use that type. It was pretty straightforward. And once I did that, everything began working. So let me go ahead and do a quick demo. So I will go into the core folder, uh, netcore app 3.0. I will launch networkmanager.exe. Uh, which, of course, is our host. Here's the actual app. Okay, so we start up. We get some information on our current network interface, um, which is cool. We can um, scan the network. So let's scan my current home network here. And okay, we've got, got a bunch of devices that show up. Um, we can port scan, ping, trace route, a whole variety of utilities. Um, if we come back here, I know that, for example, uh, 10021 is a Raspberry Pi, so I'm going to connect to it with Putty. So we say, okay, yep, the username is Pi. Connect. And voila, we are uh, using the, uh, I forget what the control is, but it's an embedded WinForms panel in a WPF app to display the uh, Putty UI inside of Network Manager, which is pretty nifty. Um, we also can connect to uh, things uh, over uh, remote desktop. 10.0.0.5 is a computer over on the other side of the room. So I can connect. And there we go. Uh, we have a remote desktop from here. Uh, you know, and you can run trace route. You can uh, see the connections that this machine has established, and so on. So, a uh, pretty cool little network management utility, all running now on .NET Core 3 without very much pain.